Hey everybody, my name is Ashley and I live out here in Southern California and I'm brand new to YouTube so I'm excited to finally meet you all and get involved. So um, let's kick this off with something festive and something fun and there's nothing better than fun and festive than uh, a giveaway. And my giveaway today is going to be from Nordstrom's Crystal Collection. And these are a little Swarovski crystal bracelet, and I have a matching necklace to go along with it. But you can see you can see it against like a purple shirt, or you can wear it um, layer, like I said, layer it with other pieces. The um, metal in it is gold toned, so you are going to want to be able to be able to layer it with other gold necklaces. But it's great. That's why I chose these purpley colors and everything is just to go along with the the giveaway. So the contest rules are: I would like you to subscribe so that I can watch you and. Um, that benefits you too because I'm going to do sneak attack. I'll explain how, I'll explain how that works later. Um, I want you to let me know somebody else that you watch on YouTube who's putting a positive message out there, doing something inspiring, um, kind of a pay it forward. So I want you to let me know what it is you like about that person, their videos, their message, and write a little note about it and maybe leave a link so that I can find them and watch them as well. And I am going to let them know. Um, at least for the really, really good messages that you give me, I, I would like to let that person know what you say so that hopefully it's going to make them smile and to reward you for doing that one lucky person, um, I am going to reward with the necklace and the bracelet. So hopefully that will make you happy or make somebody else happy who you maybe want to re-gift it to, but um, that's about it for that. So if you want to see how to do this look, um, kind of purpley, I did this look out of the kit from Smashbox. This is exclusive to Ulta. And I'm going to do reviews, and I am not loyal to any one particular product. I think. So this is a little kit from Ulta. Eyeshadows, gel liners, brow liners, uh, you have blushers, you have highlighters and contour shades, you have a bunch of different um, lip glosses. They're actually really great. And you've got, you do have to use a lip brush for them, so people that like lip glosses, and you're going to have to get used to using a brush. Um, and then you've got um, a bunch of other eyeshadows. So um, it's a really, really great little kit. And at every Ulta store, I don't know if you can see this, with any Ulta purchase, and there is no um, monetary amount necessary, they're giving you a little um, gel eyeliner trio away. So they have some little $12.99 kits there that I would go get your hands on. One of them is there's an apricot liner. and Keep watching because I'm going to do a video on that. I might have one to give away. Um, the eyeliner trios and online if you want to get on and get anything Smashbox-y. Um, they've got great brushes. They've got great brushes, so if you want to brush, start investing in a brush set. You can also get, they've got online a little gel liner set that they're giving away. So I always keep an eye out on all those fun little giveaways. Um, that's it for that. So if you want to enter the contest, go ahead and do that now. Don't watch the video, kind of ignore it. If you want to see how to do the purples, I'll show you how to do the purples. And um, that's about it. So I look forward to watching your videos and uh, announcing a winner on Wednesday. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. Okay, so really quick, I'm going to show you the colors that I'm going to use out of this palette. Is I'm going to use this light color for a highlight down here. Use this light lavender purple over in the side. There's a darker purple. And a little tip when you get these kits, um, sometimes just because I don't know the way that they're treated, it's you don't want to kill your brush trying to get the color off in your brush. So I always kind of bruise them a little bit with, um, what I mean by bruise is you're just going to kind of rough the top of it with a Q-tip or something so that when you dip your brush into it, you get enough color. So when you start to apply, you're not stuck kind of swirling it and kind of crinkling up your brushes, especially if you've just washed them. Um, excuse me. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your Q-tip and just kind of bruise the top of them. So light purple all over the lid. Then in your crease, you're going to use, and you know what, Smashbox's brush, brushes kind of get, um, they're not really that, nobody really talks about them, or at least I haven't heard any. I love the number 10, so if you guys want to invest in a brush, number 10 by Smashbox online, especially right now, because with any purchase right now, you get um, a little package of their gel cream liners, and they're great. I'm a huge fan of gel cream liners, because you can use them for everything. So I'm going to use, oh, that's my puppy. Color in the crease here. I'm going to go over that with a light taupey brown. Because I want to give the brown kind of a purpley look. And I, I use windshield wiper motions, but also I use kind of swirling motions too. So that it helps blend. You don't have to do a whole lot of blending at the end. Another brush you can get from places like Ulta, I don't know if you can get them at Sephora, but um, 
is, I don't know if I'm saying it right, it's Japanesque. I don't know if you can see it. Purple, outer corner, and sweep it in. Also swirling motions. If you want to deepen the look, you can use um, a liner brush. And I'm going to show you guys how to get one of these later, so keep watching. Blend. And they also have the liners in here, which is great. So I am using my own creased liner brush. So liner, gel liner, just right on the eyelash. Um, I am not loyal to any one brand. I go to what works and um, good products. So I am going to use, well, you can tell that my, I went from, I was blonde, like super blonde just about um, a week ago. So I had to do some experimentation with darker colors, eyebrow colors. There are in this kit, if you can see before the, sometimes little things, in the kit you've got up here in the corner. You've got gel liners and you have brow colors here too. So if you are thinking about changing your hair color or doing any drastic changes, um, you can use these and kind of experiment around with them. So um, there's a dark brown that I will use, but I'm also going to touch it up with my uh, brow liner from MAC in the color Spiked. I don't know, you can tell how light my, I mean, I have my, eye, my eye, ugh, eyebrows are pretty much non-existent. Um, so let's go ahead and darken them. Um, I also line my top line with a brown liner in the color well, by MAC. It's a technical liner in a brown border. Uh, I'm going to do that. I'm not going to film it. I'm going to <sighs> crimp my lashes, Shuyimura, and I am also going to put on a little bit of bottom mascara and bottom liner. Okay, so I've gone back. I've curled my lashes. I use the MAC Prep and Prime before my mascara just it helps make them thicker. you got to wait for it to dry for a moment. Um, put your mascara on. I use the Zoom Fast Black Lash. Seems to hold on to the Prep and Prime really well. My eyelashes are, are lighter on the lighter side, so I like to make them thick. I don't use false lashes for work. But in the morning when I'm in a rush to get out the door, especially when you've got that last like few minutes where you're like, I gotta get out the door, um, I like to use something to line my bottom lashes with when you're putting mascara on. That way you don't tag your bottom lid. So what I do is I'll use like the sponge I either use for foundation or concealer or whatever and just kind of prop it underneath your, your lashes. Put your mascara over it so that when you put your mascara on it doesn't tag your bottom, uh, your bottom lid. So just a little tip. Um, I am really excited about seeing what you guys have to say about other users. And um, I think YouTube's only going to work only because you have to be a friend on people's MySpace page to get on and see what message they're putting out there. Um, same goes with uh, Facebook, MySpace. So we'll keep it to YouTube. Um, I would like you to be a subscriber only because I'm going to reward people later because I'm going to be watching people every month. I'm going to have a little surprise for somebody out there that's um, doing something different or just really spreading a positive word. And right now during the Christmas season with everything going on in the economy, you know, it is nice to give something to somebody, um, even if it's not monetary, but a compliment, something about what they're doing. Maybe you're the only person that really notices them. It makes people feel good. So I'm excited to see what you guys have to say and uh, kind of pay it forward. And um, I will announce a winner, hopefully in the next 48 hours. So right now, while you know I don't really have that many people that kind of watch the channel, it's, now's the best time to um, to win something. So I'm excited and we'll talk to you soon.